how to pan your tracks a couple of different ways. Let's get going. What's happening, guys? David here. We're going to go over a super quick tutorial today about how to pan your tracks. You know, make it go from left to right or use the stereo function in Adobe Audition CC. So getting started, it's easiest if you start with a stereo multi-track setting. If uh, you start with a mono setting, you can still do it, but you do have to add a stereo track. You can add tracks to your session by going up to the menu, hitting multi-track, going to tracks, add a mono track or add a stereo track. So if you've started a multi-track session that's in mono, you can still do this. You just have to add a stereo track. So let's get in. I have a stereo multi-track session set up. I'm going to record something here. Learning how to use the pan function in Adobe Audition today. I don't know why I said that so dramatic. Let me do one that's not so dramatic. We're going to learn how to use pan today. Okay, so let's add some gain. Turn it up so we can hear it. We don't need this one. I'll just get rid of you. A lot simpler. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So there's a couple of super simple ways to do it. Over on the left in a stereo track, you can see this meter right here. This is actually your pan meter. If I pull it to the left, we're going to learn how to use pan today. If I pull it to the right, we're going to learn how to use pan today. So as simple as that, you can see over on the left-hand side in that uh, little dial feature, you can easily pan the track from left to right. But let's say you want to do something a little bit different and you want to have fun with the audio. You want to bounce it back and forth. I can go right here into the middle of my track, not the volume envelope, but down here a little lower in a stereo track, there's the pan envelope. And I'll have to use keyframes here. So if I make a few clicks, add a couple of keyframes, I can raise it up here. I can pull it down here. Then as I go along, if I continue to add keyframes, be like a little staircase. And then I can do this through the entirety of the entire piece. And it's just going to sound so annoying in a second. But it does do a good job of demonstrating how to use the pan envelope feature within Adobe Audition CC. So let's check it out now. We're going to learn how to use pan today. Okay, that was awful, but you get what I'm getting at. So I can change it just by grabbing these keyframes and dragging it along so it's not so abrasive on the ears, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. We're going to learn how to use pan today. There you go. You can easily pan your audio from left to right and back again as many times as your heart's content. Let me know how it's working for you, or if it's not working for you and you have any questions, call, text, or email if you know me. If not, leave them down in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys.